Alright, this one's called Illegal Vending Plague in Port Murillo. Mayor of Port Murillo, Richard Query, has last year at the practice of illegal vending, which claims plague in the streets of the parish capital of St. Mary, resulting in breakdown of law and order. And obviously disturbed Query was addressing the monthly sitting of the St. Mary Municipal Corporation yesterday. I heard that police have failed to address the issue of illegal vending, so the current problem of jostling for passengers among taxi and minibus operators who have refused to use the transportation center. Query has also made appeal for the police, the health department, and other government agencies to carry their functions in a more fitted manner. After 5 p.m., there are no uniformed police officers on the street of Port Maria to maintain law and order, commented Query. This has been going on for quite some time now, and business operat operators are complaining bitterly about illegal vending in front of their businesses. Taxes are parked illegally while picking up people and operating indiscriminately. I do believe yeah, that's, yeah, and that's nothing new, I might add. The mayor complained that disorder in tone affects emergency vehicles such as fire trucks. Quote to quote, there are no police in, in uniform in the town of Port Maria after 5 p.m., which he said. Taxes are parked illegally, he's seen all the stuff that is already said. And the tra um, let's just skip the parts which sound like repetitive. The traffic officers, traffic police, work up to 3 p.m. granted half of the day they part somewhere else as it was observing brand new pretty bike and par uh, I don't know what he said there but anyways a new market is near and completion is expected hose vendors operate legally along the streets of Port Maria alright and the article so what I can say is that I feel two ways about it. I mean no bear in mind I'm not really encouraging that people do do all this illegal stuff and and these unruly types of behavior like the illegal vending and the thing which is our most people are really familiar with with these bus and minibus taxi and minibus operators doing some funny style stuff um because like i said like for someone who has to do tra public transportation you see how a lot of a lot of how they move and there's some things that i'm not i don't condone but again it does a lot this boils down to the fact that when you have a nation society that has no law and order moral values are not and and the calm decency and respect are not enforced or encouraged and again the biggest top to top top to have a eco failing economics um, um economic system this is the end result because a lot of these people are doing this stuff are just trying to eat the food so to speak and and the thing is that there a lot of them again due to one being not a custom or to be following law and order and who are struggling to make ends meet because of a very bad economic setup they're going to do funny style stuff like that so this is why i feel two ways i mean i don't condone it do i understand what encourages a lot of them to do what they do yeah and so the thing is that as the only thing i like was says that new mark is near completion which is expected to house vendors illegally so operate on streets of port maria so they basically recognize that there is to be more economic opportunities and that's going to offset a lot of it a lot of this illegal activity now yeah i know some people are still going to be some funny style stuff but that a lot of it will go down if no opportunities are provided so i'm not really too hard on some people who are doing this this stuff i mean i don't condone it especially when they're hurting or inconveniencing innocent people but i understand where a lot of it stems from so this see how this turns out hope for the best more opportunities are provided and more people make good use of it so this will go into state of jamaica and caribbean check out my youtube pages miles gusenferen magic productions okay